Hello my lovely online friends and welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the newest addition to my designer bag collection which is this cutie over here. I am in love with her and the main reason why I caved was because of TikTok. There are so many really nice videos about this bag on TikTok and it just made me fall in love with her. If you're subscribed to my channel, if not, please do. It is much appreciated. You will know that usually I do kind of like a review or an unboxing of my new designer bags, but this video is going to be slightly different. I'm still going to give you my review and first thoughts on this bag, but in addition, I also thought it would be fun to pack this bag together. Most of the time you have videos about what's in my bag, but I thought to spice things up a little and actually take you around my apartment and grab everything that I put inside this bag and I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis. Today I'm actually going to pack to go to a coffee shop, do some work there, and then I'm meeting up with a friend to shoot some content together. And after that, I'm also grabbing dinner with her. So quite a lot to do so i hope you like this idea and um yeah let's get started with the review of this bag first so this bag right here is the mark jacobs the mini tote bag and as i already mentioned this bag popped off on social media i've been seeing especially so many videos about it on tiktok but also on youtube and instagram and I just really fell in love with this bag. It comes in a bunch of different colors, sizes, and materials. Originally, they had three sizes available and they were only available in canvas material. But last year, they introduced it in the letter variant as well as in this really cute mini size. It also comes in a bunch of different colors, but I ended up going for this perfect cool toned nude or beige color that I'm obsessed with. The color palette of my aesthetic is white, nude beige and I would say like brown and black too but more in the fall and winter time I ordered this bag from Farfetch and it came with a beautiful Marc Jacobs dust bag as well as this little authentication card and the bag also comes with a longer shoulder strap and I am very petite I'm 5'1 so most straps like this will be too long for me um, it is adjustable, but even on the smallest size, it's still quite long on me, but it would be really easy to add a few more extra holes, which I am thinking of doing, but you can also easily interchange the strap with something else. I've seen a lot of cute straps on Amazon um, and people are just adding it to this bag. So that's an option. But personally, I feel like a tote bag like this also looks cuter without a strap. I wasn't necessarily planning on wearing it with the longer strap regardless. This bag also has gold hardware and a zipper closure. And then on the inside, it has one big pocket, big side pocket that easily, for example, fits your phone, which is very nice. And then it has one really small pocket that, um, yeah, it's hard to see, but it's a really small pocket that will fit like a card or maybe a hair tie. And then the last detail that's pretty interesting is that the end of the zipper is magnetic and there's actually a magnet on this side of the bag as well. And you can snap the zipper um, like together with that little side part, which makes it very easy to open and close this bag. So those are all the details of this Marc Jacobs mini tote bag. Seeing it all over TikTok and also having a very stressful um, and like insanely busy month last month where I worked my butt off, I really felt like I wanted to get myself something to reward myself. Definitely very materialistic, definitely not uh, a necessity, but um, I felt like I wanted to spoil myself with a bag and I didn't want to go crazy because most of my designer bags are a little bit of a higher price point. So this bag actually retails for $375. Seeing this bag in real life, I think even $375 if you're into luxury goods is a really good deal because the quality of this bag is impressive. The leather is really soft and really nice. 
definitely compares to more expensive, higher-end luxury bags in my opinion. I also really like the embossed, the tote bag Marc Jacobs detail in the front. It's really cool and very nicely made. And then on the back, there's also this iconic Marc Jacobs patch that was I think metal before, but now they did it in the same leather material with embossing and I think it looks really cool. But I do have a few like cons, like a few points I wanna address. First of all, I don't really like the fact that the zipper is black. I feel like this whole bag is nude, so the zipper should have been gold with beige rather than this really harsh black stitching. Then the inside is actually lined in this more a uh, camel beige color. Kind of felt like it would have been nicer if the letter was the same color, but that's just a personal preference. And then lastly, this bag also doesn't have any feet, which I would have preferred if it had little feet. I think it makes the bag a little bit more long lasting. And then the last kind of side note I have with this bag is the sides. So the sides are actually kind of sticking out a little bit like this, um, which I don't love, but it is just a very small detail, but it is something to consider. It is a very soft letter, and even though it does have some structure to it, I do see it sag over time. So that is something to consider. But all in all, I think the quality is amazing. The stitching is very nice. Um, I don't see any imperfections with this bag. So I would say that it is a really good value for money bag. Now this bag for me is a really perfect everyday bag, but if you would want to get this bag as a work bag, I would recommend getting the small size because that actually fits um, a 13 inch laptop, which is great, or even the medium size if you carry around a lot. This mini size is perfect to fit, you know, smaller essentials and have it as your daily bag, but it's not um, big enough for a laptop. So all in all, I'm very positive about this bag and I would 100% recommend it. I can see myself getting a lot of wear out of this. And I also just really like the fact that the trend of micro bags is kind of, you know, past and as we're getting into these slightly bigger sized bags because I still feel like they look good on my kind of petite body frame, but they do fit quite a bit of stuff. So it's not like you can only fit one lip gloss and a card and that's it in there. It's nice to be able to carry some more stuff with you. So now that we're done with the review, it is time for the fun stuff. And that is packing my bag together. And I'm really excited to show you all my new handbag essentials because I have a lot of like nifty items from Amazon that I recently purchased they're so practical and so cute and I like don't know how I lived without them before I'm going to now pack my bag with you all right let's start with packing my new baby and the first thing that I like to grab is a mini perfume I always like to reapply my perfume during the day and I have a lot of these cute minis and also solid perfumes but my go-to perfume is this YSL uh, Libre Eau de Parfum. I just got this really cute miniature. So that is going inside. Next up is my makeup vanity. And I always bring a cuticle balm with me. This is the Christian Dior Apricot Balm. I really like this for my nails, as well as the La Creme Main from Chanel. It's the hand cream egg and it's so cute. Now it's time for makeup. <laughs> something is scratching. I always bring my everyday concealer with me. This is the MAC Pro Longwear, can't live without this. For lip products, I always bring whatever shade I'm wearing that day. And I'm wearing the Laura Mercier um, lip liner in hazelnut tea, as well as a lipstick. Um, I paired it with the Charlotte Tilbury in love with Olivia. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's such a nice color. Next up, I'm also obviously bringing my phone. I have an Apple case on it in pink scent, and this is the 13 Pro. Then so now we are at my desk or home office station. I'm also bringing my iPad. This is, I think, the iPad Pro, and then in the 11 inch, 
really nice. I think I need to charge it though. Okay, I should charge it real quick. I'm also bringing a pretty pen. Um, this is my favorite pen. It's this Swarovski pen with rose gold and all these beautiful crystals. The next spot is this little sideboard that I have in my living room. And in this part, I have all my like bag essentials as well as roller skating essentials. This is kind of a random cupboard, but it's very organized and it definitely works for me. So first of all, I'm grabbing this Tangle teaser. Um, this is a hairbrush and it's rose gold and I love it. Then I'm also grabbing some wet wipes because you just always need wet wipes for some reason. I always end up using them. I also have this really cute phone or um, like screen cleaner. Then you spray and then you can wipe it with um, the spray itself because it's this very nice um, like suede-ish material. So I'm wondering if you guys can guess what this is, but this is actually, so this is actually a fold up keyboard. Obviously it's rose gold, so it matches my aesthetic and you can just plug in your phone or your iPad here and uh, you have a keyboard. So the next thing I have is this tripod. It's a phone tripod that also comes with um, a little remote. This right here is another amazing discovery. I wish I had during my law school and high school days. So this right here, as you can already tell, is a hairbrush. But this is not your average hairbrush. This hairbrush is actually a hot tool. So if you just press it here, it warms up. The amount of times that this hairbrush would have been able to save my life. My hair is naturally very frizzy and wavy and I would always straighten it or curl it. Throughout the day, it would get frizzy, I would get cowlicks, I would get rained on and I would have to fix my hair, but it would be impossible because I didn't have a cordless a hot tool with me or I didn't even think it existed at the time so but when I found this hot brush I was just completely um, flabbergasted I guess and it works really well I brought it with me to Revolve Festival where my hair was going crazy and it definitely saved me so these are all my mini travel size products that I like to take with me depending on you know what kind of day it is this is from Simple Human which is a really cool um, like tech brand and this this is actually a light up mirror. You just flip it open and you have a really nice three times magnifying light up mirror. Another thing I always bring with me is sunscreen. I have a few different sunscreens depending on what I'm doing, but because I already have my makeup on, I like to use this super goop resetting 100% mineral powder sunscreen. Since I'm on one of my last hair days before I'm washing it, I also need some dry shampoo. I'm also bringing deodorant with me. This is the Dove Advanced Care in Cucumber, but I do actually wanna get a mini size of the native deodorant because I'm shooting I like to add some oil to my legs so that they look extra shiny and glowy and this is the Nuke's body oil and I love it so much next up I'm also bringing this little mini powder from by Terry it works really well mattifies my skin which I definitely need throughout the day and it also has a little mirror so another thing I'm bringing with me is this deep teak rinse free hand wash this is the most bougie hand sanitizer i love it so much i always use it and i'm also bringing the glossier cherry balm.com this is one of my favorite lip balms i do have some more stuff in here because i have my quip gum this is a refillable gum holder in rose gold and this is the best gum ever i love this and i got all my friends hooked on this then I also have a rechargeable battery with me because I always need it. My phone is always dying. I have my crystals with me as well as this hand painted stone that my mom painted of my turtle or my tortoise. Really, really cute. And then I have my card holder. This one is from YSL and color wise it goes really well with my new Marc Jacobs bag. So I love it. And then last but not least, I have my keys as well as my pepper spray. Uh, it's really cute, but it's not cute to use. And I got this, I actually got this as a gift because the crime rate in LA has been insane. And you know, you gotta stay safe, you gotta stay vigilant. So yeah, never thought that I would be carrying pepper spray, but here I am. All right guys, now it is time for the fun part and that is seeing what fits inside my bag and pack my bag together.
It is quite heavy, not going to lie. I do really uh, <laughs> like bringing all these essentials with me. So yeah, that's everything that fits in this bag, which is quite a lot. So my loves, we made it to the end of this video and I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked this concept. If you did, then let me know in the comments down below and I can maybe do it for other bags as well. Um, I will also want to say that everything that I mentioned is linked in the description box down below. So if you either want to check out this bag or any of my bag essentials, then um, yeah, check out the description box. You can also follow me on my Instagram. My username is lilylike.com and obviously I'm also active on TikTok and my username there is Lilia Kazakova. Now, with that being said, it is time to go. I really hope you had a wonderful day or will have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very, very soon.